Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's coaching video is called Girls I Like Are Not Interested. Now as many of you guys know, these coaching videos is when one of you guys writes in to me and if I think it's a question that would be beneficial to my viewers and subscribers, I answer your question in a video. And in this email today, I, I pulled it out because I think many, if not all of you guys can relate to it. So I'm not going to get into detail explaining it. I'm just going to dive right in. But first, if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. I offer standard email coaching and emergency email coaching, which includes a response from me on weekends and holidays. And I also offer bi-weekly and monthly email coaching where I will work with you throughout that time period. Additionally, I offer phone coaching for my U.S. clients. Now, if you live outside the U.S., I will have a phone or Skype coaching option sometime in the future, but for right now, email coaching is the way to go. And I will post a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. So let's get on to his email. He says, hi Eric, thanks for all the advice you give to us guys like myself. My question pertains to a certain dilemma that I'm experiencing. I'm single and I have been going out on dates with several girls the past few years. Some I like and are attracted to, others not so much. The ones I do like, the ones I could see myself with, where there's good chemistry, etc. We date for a month or so, then the girl will drift off until I get the picture and move on. The ones I'm not as interested in, I will hardly contact and will give off the vibe that I'm not really into them, but are always willing to give me attention. Basically, how do I get better results with the ones I'm more attracted to? It's difficult because instinctively, I want to show the girls that I'm interested in, but I get the opposite back. Again, thanks so much for your help. So, as I mentioned, I picked this email because this is something almost all of us go through at, at some point in our lives. I'm sure just about everybody watching this video has found themselves in a situation like this where the girls I like don't like me, and the girls I really don't care that much about seem to love me. And the easy answer to this is the reason the girls you really don't care much about like you more is for that exact reason. You just don't care that much about where it goes. You could take it or leave it. You're indifferent. Now, this might sound crazy. I mean, why would a girl like you more because you care less about her? Well, it's not because you don't care that much about her that makes you attractive, but it's that you've showed her at least some interest and you're not attached to an outcome with her. <clears throat> and because you're not attached to an outcome, you're not doing all the typical needy and desperate things that most guys do in order to get a woman's attention. Now, for most men, when they really like a girl, they're trying extra hard to get her attention and doing things they normally wouldn't do in hopes that the girl will like them more because of it. When you're doing those sort of things, you're actually behaving inauthentically and girls pick this up. They sense it. You have to keep in mind that women are far more intuitive than us men, at least in terms of picking a partner. They're instinctively looking for certain signals from men that would indicate that they would be a good potential partner for mating. And this is the main reason I tell you guys what turns women off, because those behaviors are taking you out of the potential mating pool right away. Now, some of those behaviors are just who you are, but a majority of them come from societal conditioning, basically teaching you from when you were a little boy that this is what girls like. However, a lot of society and women, a lot of what society and women teaches us what women like and don't like are simply not true. I mean, not all of it, but a lot of it. Now, as an example, I hear it all the time from women, how they hate selfish, narcissistic men. Now, we hear that and make a mental note. 
don't be selfish, don't be narcissistic. And of course, logically, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, narcissism and selfishness are pretty negative traits. However, the truth is women love these traits in a man, or at least they're very attracted to these traits. If they weren't, they wouldn't find themselves constantly drawn to these men. They wouldn't be online talking with other women about how much they hate these men. And they wouldn't be buying books and going to counseling in order to keep themselves from getting involved with these men. These men are simply irresistible to women. Now, I'm not saying that you need to begin behaving like a narcissist or to be selfish. Like I said, those are not positive traits in any person. What I am saying is what women tell us they find, what they want and what they find attractive in a man are often opposite of what they're actually instinctively attracted to in a man. As men, we hear what women find attractive from other women, which again makes sense. I mean, who would know what women like better than another woman? But as you can see, that's not always the case. But we hear this and begin to like mold ourselves into what we believe women will like as a way to get those women to like us more. And we'll hear people say things like, you know, you should get her flowers or just tell her how you feel or you need to do some grand romantic gesture. And in our mind, we're thinking, yeah, that makes total sense. I mean, it works all the time in the movies. So we go and do that. And all the while, those women are thinking, ew. And one of the big, biggest reasons why they're thinking that is because you're trying way too hard. And, and by trying so hard, you're actually not behaving authentically. You're not behaving like the man who you truly are because you've been conditioned over your lifetime to behave differently. Now, when it comes to the women who you're not all that interested in, you're not doing all those things. You're not really trying at all. And look what happens. They're totally digging you. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, you're really not doing anything besides just being who you naturally are. And these girls love you for it. But when you're trying really hard to get a girl to like you more, what you're actually communicating to her is that you don't really believe that you have what it takes to attract the women who you really like. So you're compensating by doing all this extra stuff. I mean, things like you're bragging about yourself or you're being extra available, being extra nice, going out of your way and bending over backwards for her or dropping plans with your buddies just to spend time with her. I mean, the list goes on and on. And like I said, women are very intuitive, so they're sensing all this, and they become immediately turned off or disinterested because the guy who isn't doing all this stuff has her attention now. And he's the guy who doesn't feel the need to prove himself, who is naturally confident in his value, who is self-validating, and who is more focused on building an awesome life than he is with any particular girl. And one of the reasons I focus my videos and what I teach more on what women find to be a turnoff rather than a turn on is because you want women to like the real you. Because this isn't about being someone else, it's about being a better version of yourself and erasing all that conditioning you've experienced for your entire life. So the overall idea here is to continue being that same fun, charming, and playful version of yourself with the ladies, but at the same time, you want to stop trying, trying so hard to impress them and being so attached to an outcome with them. You want to have the general mindset of, you know what, I really dig this girl and it would be great if something were to come of it. But if it doesn't, it's no big deal. There are plenty of attractive women out there that would love to be involved with me. Now, of course, this mindset is much more difficult when you're already emo emotionally attached to a woman, like in a long-term relationship or something. But embracing outcome independence is key in all stages of dating and relationships. So. If you have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I'd also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. 
And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page. Oh, and if you guys are on Facebook, you might want to check out my page. It's located at backslash attraction skills. And I post a lot of great articles, videos, and quotes that you will find very helpful in learning more about all this. And, and I don't just post all my own stuff. So, but also in the description down below, I have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.